Hi guys and welcome back to Bits and 87 Pez, the channel dedicated to Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 content. Now if you watched the video I did yesterday which was 20 minutes plus long on the things I don't like about um, my club itself, most of it was bullshit because actually you guys did help me a lot in uh, pointing out places where I can find things and I even found the coach thing myself. So from now on I will be taking note of uh, well stuff you guys point out as I do do it a few times but obviously not as much as I should but the game as a, self, a game as a whole itself I really do enjoy it still and I enjoy it more now that I've got Ronaldo Ibrahimovic in the team Sterling Koscielny now the uh, game we played yesterday was actually the 2-2 draw so if you want to go and watch that video feel free to if you can try and smash over 600 likes on this video guys that'd be absolutely awesome and remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed already now I messed up a little bit as well not only with the fact of a few things in yesterday's commentary but i never changed the club so unfortunately we are stuck with ajax for this episode but i will change it for tomorrow's one now agent openings this is the route we need to take now i'm not sure which way i'm going to be going with agent openings unless konami decide to release something absolutely awesome at the weekends um well, actually, on a Thursday, on a Thursday is when the new agents do come out, and obviously, I don't really need anyone from the di from the um, international stars, which is out now. We did get Sterling Koscielny, who we've left in there. We are persevering with him as well. Uh, Going to see what he's like. And we actually took a nice 1-0 lead. And then we were lucky enough to actually take a 2-0 lead via a absolutely terrible shot there coming off the post and a nice tap-in from Ronaldo. But... This game was fun. We are trying to creep up the divisions as fast as we can. And the League of Champions as well. Someone was talking about that. But I'm pretty sure that in the stipulation I did read, I was unable to be in it because I wasn't in higher enough division. So we do walk away with a 2-1 win in the first game. Now, a lot of people have been asking, how do I get my GP up? Now, if you've watched the series from the start, which is obviously episode one, you will see that I've opened a lot, a lot of uh, agents myself. But you've only got room for 100 places in in, well, I've got room for 100 places in my club, so I do release a lot of players. Now, each player you release, you get 650 GP plus for each one, depending on his rating. It might be a bit less for the uh, 60 rated plus players and things like that, but I was aiming just to store the GP. Now, I think we've got 100k plus, and that's even with extending player slots and things like that. But with the GP itself, I use for... Um, I use for the contracts on the players. Now, for the likes of Thiago Silva, he's costing me uh, just over 3000 each time to get a 10-game uh, contract on him. And also, um, there was something else I'm going to talk about in this episode as well, but I can't remember what it was. It's annoying me. Um, now, I was told also, guys, I was told this, and I think I told you guys as well, that you can actually sign um, the likes of Team of the Year Ibrahimovic when you've got him on loan. Now, apparently, that is not true, and you can't actually sign these players while you have them on loan. So, I'm a bit 50-50 on what the fuck to do with the likes of Ibrahimovic, Messi and Ronaldo I've got in the club. Maybe I'll try and burn them out this week, try and get rid of the contracts, probably not renew them, and take advantage of some lower-rated people in case we do do an agent opening this weekend. Now, if we do, I'm going to try and... Aim and obviously try and get um, get Ronaldo and Ibrahimovic again. Now in this game it was quite frustrating. We did pull it back to 2-2 there, and I was honestly sweating out to get the win. A nice through ball to through ball to Ronaldo. He squares it up to Ibrahimovic, and we do make it 3-2, walking away with another victory. So that's six points out of six so far in this episode. Also. I do go over things quite a lot repeatedly and that's because of the sub growth on this channel has been absolutely insane recently. You guys would have noticed the spike in views as well has gone up a lot and uh, a lot of people were asking me what does the red mark mean underneath the players. So you've got a red heat map. The red heat map means that you've got better team spirit. The way to get better team spirit is by playing with the games and uh, playing with the team sorry as you can uh, work your way to get better spirit with the players and also making sure the player has a decent tactical fit with the manager you do have in your club now thankfully we have a very good manager he links up with a lot of players but remember i have played a lot of games trying to get to this stage we score a cracking goal with ibrahimovic there to make it one nil and uh, then the game changes on its head pretty fast ronaldo breaking on through misses the shot and then modric is there to tap it into an empty net not that bad but i was frustrated that i conceded we then went on the attack straight away and remember this is the first 10 minutes a through 
ball through to Ronaldo, a nice chest and a volley into the bottom corner does make it 2-1. But then a huge game changer happened here. Buffon comes out, wipes, uh, wipes Benzema out and the keeper gets a straight red card. Yes, that's correct. You can get red cards on Pez and it completely fucks you. Completely, um, well, this completely did fuck me because we had a 75 rated goalkeeper on the bench, brought him in and he could not save anything. I uh, was messing around in defence a little bit as well, trying to get rid. And as you can see, that shot from Gareth Bale palmed straight to Ronaldo and he makes it 3-2 and uh, sends him into the lead. It got even worse as well. The keeper was not saving anything. A header there off the bar, bounces straight to, I think that was Cristiano Ronaldo, getting on the score sheet again. Now, one of the things which I do, did state completely, really fucking annoys me is the fact that you can skip replays. That is frustrating as it makes my editing look quite bad as I would rather watch the player run to the sideline score so you can see who actually scored but currently you probably can't. Now we make it 4-4 somehow. A nice free kick from Ronaldo to Melo and then a long through ball catches me out. Ronaldo is ridiculous guys and he does make it 5-4 sending him into the lead. There was one more goal in the game though and uh, unfortunately it wasn't from me. Uh, Toure linking up with Ronaldo to uh, uh, Benzema to Ronaldo and Ronaldo slots it in to make it 6-4. A very, very high scoring game to finish this episode. But six points from nine isn't that bad considering we are still making a push to get up the divisions. So if you guys are enjoying these episodes, guys, make sure you drop a like rating. Um, I have got a few different videos coming on this channel coming soon as well. I have been thinking about what else I can bring to the channel to entertain you guys. And one of them will be a club tour looking at all the players we've got over the uh, over the period of this and the players which has just sat there on the game doing nothing. Now I could build another squad but I don't think that is going to be applicable as I don't really want to be testing out squads. I want to be nailing divisions and trying to get the highest I can. So guys, if you have enjoyed it, drop a like rate and subscribe. If you are not subscribed already, remember we upload daily. So come back tomorrow to check out another video on this channel at about half six on a UK evening. Until next time, see you later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.